to uh, this special um, meeting of the, the cabinet. Um, I'd just like to go uh, to the main talk basically about the black the hands on black and bodies. Um, and we'll just do the uh, preliminaries. So item one, uh, members of the conduct. Does anybody wish to declare any members of the cabinet to declare any interest? Please say no. Okay, so no one wants to declare an interest. Um, minutes of the previous meeting, can we be agreed that I sign them? Very good. Yes. Okay, so that takes us to the, uh, the, the item on the agenda that we are uh, here to discuss tonight, which is the um, combined authority for the Liverpool City Region Governance Review. I, I just wanted to uh, make a few um, comments on, on this report. Uh, and clearly, um, the, the reason why I think it's um, important to agree these recommendations is that um, clearly we need to improve the rest of the city region, um, uh, do everything we can to increase the growth uh, prospects of the, the region and jobs and investment. And um, I think that the, uh, the model that's being proposed as a result of the, uh, the government's review, i.e. a command authority, I think will give us that, that opportunity. Um, can, can, the other thing I just wanted to say, um, in support of these recommendations. I, I was slightly slightly concerned that I heard some comments from Councillor Lewis, um, uh, Conservative Councillor today on the Merseyside, where he came out pretty unequivocally against the concept of the combined authority. And I, I found that puzzling because the combined authority model is actually being proposed by the government. Um, you know, the government are, are, are recommending this. Uh, as a, uh, a model that we should embrace. And indeed, they're saying that if we are to, if city regions are to um, uh, secure and lever in the, uh, the, the, the various uh, kind of funding from central governments, and, and if they're going to make a case for more devolvement of powers and responsibility, then they, they need to go down the road of combined authority or metro mayor. Now, I made it clear that, you know, uh, we don't support the metropolitan mayor option, but we do think that the combined authority <coughs> is something that we should pursue. So I was, I was confused and, and a bit puzzled uh, as to whether Council Lewis was speaking on behalf of himself or the whole Conservative group. Because it's certainly odds with what the national government thinking is, which we are, we are, which we are following. So, I mean, that's obviously a matter that um, uh, we will look forward to some clarification on, but that was just something I wanted to refer to. I think the, the other the other comments that um, that Ian made, which I think is very are very clear in this report, will be confused. He, he was making the claim that this is going to cost millions of pounds of extra money and lead to um, the, the addition uh, additional politicians, additional bureaucracy. I think we've been very clear um, that this will be cost neutral. We will not be um, spending huge amounts of additional public money. We will not be in any layer of tier of politicians and bureaucrats. We will manage this within existing resources. And, and this is not um, Merseyside County Council by the name. Um, he, he also um, made the, the claim that we will we'll not get, get its fair share of the, the, the cake. I, I'm absolutely clear that, you know, as a leader of this council, you know, I want to see round the table and we will we'll, um, we'll get uh, an important part of any funding that, that comes to Merseyside, indeed both myself and the Chief Executive, uh, I think as, as was acknowledged by the um, PA Challenge team when they came back, are playing now a key role in the local city region. So, you know, I'm refuting the idea that uh, this is this is going to be um, uh, a, a model where we have no say. So, um, you know, I, I think this is, if we are serious about um, meeting the government's challenge to lead for additional jobs, growth and investment. I think this is something we should embrace. Um, I think the other thing the report makes clear is that we are now in a consultation phase where we're seeking the views, we will be seeking the views of our uh, public sector partners, businesses and so on. We need to obviously take account of, of, um, of what they say. Um, we had a special council meeting 
not be in the 19th of September, where we as a council can consider the outcome of the uh, consultation and uh, make an appropriate recommendation. And I think just to make clear that all the other legislative district councils are um, uh, pursuing a similar timetable for their cabinets and councils, because we all need to move on this um, at, the same, at the same time. Um, so, I, I am very happy to support the recommendations. I think the only, the only additional one that I would add to um, what the, the, the report before us is um, I, I would really like to, to use our new, uh, hopefully improved in, uh, scrutiny arrangements um, to, uh, to maximum on this issue. And I'd like to suggest, as well as endorsing and approving these recommendations, I would like to ask one of our policy and performance committees, I'm not sure which is the appropriate one, but, but, but let, that, let that can be decided outside this meeting. I'd like to ask um, one of our policy and performance committees to, to look at this proposal, to come up with hopefully constructive suggestions and improvements <coughs> to, to, to the proposal in time before we make the final decision, um, which we'll do in, in, in March of 2014. So I think that would be a really good piece of work for one of our uh, scrutiny committees so that's, that's the only additional um, recommendation that I would make um, and that I should make call in. So could you give me some advice on that? Yeah, yes, sir. Um, in view of the, the timetable we need to be considered in the May, and um, it's likely, there's a likelihood that the calling process could delay um, the process uh, during the early service, and that will be a medical cabinet, that will be a decision which you can be so decide for. But I was just looking for some guidance about if, if we've referred it to a policy and performance committee anyway, mm -hmm. um, is there any need to formally wait for it? Just look for some guidance. Well, I think certainly um, in, the, in the constitution, uh, I have a sort of addition to yourself as well, calling that if in the set criteria, the criteria I think are being met here in the sense that the uh, decision be made by two full council meetings. Uh, there's a clear public interest to get an agent's decision, which calling could have two minutes, actually failing to make a decision and missing the time to get those minutes, in fact, uh, negate the point of this debate. And also, the leader has indicated he wishes that it should be examined in detail by one of our new most important things. I would certainly exercise my power to uh, make a call. Okay, so we really tap back to this recommendation. <coughs> Yeah, okay. So, that's the proposal. Um, can George or Seth make that? Can, can we read those recommendations? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that's agreed. Um, <clears throat> as far as I'm aware, there's no other first business. So, um, I thank you for your attendance and close meeting. Thanks very much. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.